<laughs> All right, hello, my name's Sarah Franklin and welcome to my first sketchbook tour. Uh, I've been meaning to film a sketchbook tour for God knows how long. I've always wanted to do one, but I've just never had the time or the space to do it. So now that I'm kind of stuck alone at my, uh, in my parents' guest house from winter break, I figured why not? And I just finished the sketchbook, so it was like perfect timing. In case anybody's wondering what kind of sketchbook I use, this is a hand-bound sketchbook. I made it myself. Um, it, the paper I use it, uh, I use in it is the Canson XL Mixed Media, and as you can see, I use like water and ink and all sorts of materials in this. It holds up pretty well. It takes whatever I throw at it very nicely. Um, I bound it using the Coptic Stitch method, and I just put a fabric cover on it. I've done. I did what my last sketchbook had an open spine, but I found that it just la allowed the sketchbook to expand too much and it would just kind of roll all over the place and like pull at the stitching. It just didn't work. So I decided to do a cover with a covered spine just to help protect the book a little more. And it's worked great. I love the sketchbook. It's been tons of fun to draw in. And since I use the Coptic stitch method, um, a little preview, preview, it lays like totally flat all the time like you see that like that's flat no matter what i do so it's always a great surface to draw on and i don't have to worry about it coming apart like with a spiral bound notebook or i have to worry about the weird binding like with um regular pre-bound sketchbooks because the glue or the stitching and stuff can make it lay not totally flat which i don't like if i'm gonna get a sketchbook i want it to lay perfectly flat and so I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna make it myself because then I can make it lay flat. Uh, now a preface, this isn't like the nicest, my drawings aren't the nicest, the most professional. Like this isn't a CalArts sketchbook tour. Like I go to PNCA for school, you know? Um, so it's gonna be a little, like it's a lot of character stuff and nothing super amazing, but it's just what I draw. This is just a capsule of what I draw on a daily basis. Let's open this bad boy up. So in here we have my little name tag with my phone number in case I lose the book, you know, cause that's always something I'm worried about cause I do not want to lose this. I would probably cry. Um, and then we have a, a tag for a Starbucks pumpkin muffin because if you have not had one of the pumpkin muffins with the cream cheese filling, it is so good. Go, go get one before they like take them off the menu cause of the holiday season. Cause I think it's a seasonal item, which is really sad. I started this sketchbook on the 1st of September 2021, so right after school started for me. And then I finished this the day after Christmas. So yeah. Here is my first page. Uh, I have some Polaroids that totally did not turn out. Like the film I think is expired, so they came out all black. So I drew over them with like this whiteout pen. And I drew some of my little dog guys on here. The little alien dogs, I love them. We have some face drawings. Now, just be warned, 90% of this is just characters and faces and all that. So uh, do with that information as you will. I don't push myself a lot in my sketchbooks, which is something I'm going to work on in this new year. So this is based off a classmate of mine and they're really cool. They have, they're an amazing artist. And so I was like, I'm gonna draw you cause you look cool. The rest of these I just made up. I like this mullet guy and I like her. I like her in her turtleneck. She's very cute. Some more in-class doodles. This is like a window in a lecture room at PNCA. And then we have my coffee cup and just some random, I don't know, some random stuff, motifs I like drawing. And some Fiona Apple lyrics because I'm a, a sad gay woman. So of course there's going to be Fiona Apple in here. Here is some, um, like the first page of like full body character stuff. There's a lot more pages, not exactly like this, but more full body character stuff as this book goes on. This one's like my favorite. Drew this using a Tombow and uh, like a gray Tombow and then my Pentel pocket brush pen, which is like the best pen ever. The artist uh, Hikla uses it for their watercolor paintings and it is like so good go get one i recommend it to everybody who wants to use brush pen to get the pentel pocket some colored pencil stuff there's also a lot of colored pencil stuff in here my brother bought me a set of these like all lead colored pencils so they're just like lead there's no wood and they're my like 
one of my favorite things to doodle with. Like, it's so cute colors, I love them. We have some more concept stuff, some like angels, and we have like this house that I thought was fun uh, that I made up, like a stack house. I Like, I love the, the thing in, like in Howl's Moving Castle stuff where there's just these buildings that are just like totally stacked upon each other. I love that. We have like a little town here and some more dogs. Another angel. More character stuff. I love her pants. Her pants are so fun. Um, this is like Micron and Tombow. Then we have this page of doodles, which is like some texture stuff, just some patterns, I guess. Some like weird plant amoeba thing that I came up with. And then a mermaid. I drew this using a Schaffer fountain pen. Um, it's like one I found when I was like 12 at my mom's work. That's like a really nice, super expensive fountain pen. Um, that I just picked up and was like, this is mine now. And I finally got ink cartridges for it since I live near some stationery supply stores um, in Portland. Uh, like they're literally a couple blocks away from my house. So I picked up some ink cartridges and then I was able to draw with them. <laughs> this, this page cracks me up every time because what the fuck, what the fuck kind of drugs was I on when I was drawing these? I was like in class and I was doodling these without a reference and these birds fucking weird. I have better birds in my last sketchbook. Like, I drew some crows off Pinterest, and they were so good. But these guys are so sad in comparison. Like, oh my god. I'll show you the crows if I decide to film another sketchbook tour, which I might. Um, uh, micron doodles. My microns, I don't draw with them anymore. So I have a bunch of them that are, like, half dead, because I don't buy new ones. Um, so I was like, you know what? Sarah just... Go through, use all your dying microns because you have to get rid of them. You can't just hoard them forever. So I was like, okay. So that's what this page is, is me drawing with microns. And like, I love how scratchy the kind of line weight it is. It reminds me of um, some etching I used to do when I used to do printmaking more. Uh, but I like it, but these pens, I swear to God, are dying. I think you can probably tell like they're running out of ink. Here's some environment studies. A lot of this I just pulled out of my ass, like this and this and this. Um, but some of these I referenced off of um, photo. No, actually, this one is the only one who's referenced off a of photo. This is from an ancient history class I was taking that was like, showed us these really cool modular buildings. And I was like, let me try that. It didn't turn out great, but like, I like the kind of modular style of buildings. Okay, this is where I started getting super into Monkey Punch, and if you don't know who Monkey Punch is, shame on you, because he's, like, the best artist ever. Um, he's a manga artist. Uh, he sadly passed away a couple years ago, but he is most known for Lupin the Third. He created the manga of that, um, he created the manga of Lupin the Third, and then, which was adapted into, like, animes, and, uh, most notably the Castle of Cagliostro, if you've ever seen that movie. It's Hayomi Miyazaki's first movie, and it is so good. Like, go watch it. Now it's on Netflix, and it's, like, literally the best movie ever. Um, but I started looking at more and more of Monkey Punch's work, and he has just the way he pushes movement in his figures is gorgeous. So I was like, okay, we're going to try doing movement and flow and focus a lot on having nice lines of action in my pieces and just having these lanky little limbs go all over the place, you know? I love her, I love her boots, and I love him. Like, this is one of my favorite pages, even though it's not great, because it's a little gross looking, because I layered Posca pens, and then Pentel, and then Whiteout pen. It's like kind of gross, but it's still one of my favorite pages. We have some oil pastels. Um, I I had to do an, or I not I didn't have to, but I did an oil pastel piece for my AP portfolio last year, last school year. Um, and so that from then I started getting super into oil pastels and I love them so much. They're so fun to draw with. Some tracing paper just to protect them. I kind of want to try drawing on tracing paper more. I have a big roll of it in my dorm, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Some eyes, because what kind of art student would I be if I didn't have a page full of eyes in my sketchbook? Okay, okay, I'm, I've gotten called out on this page by a friend of mine um we were sitting in class and like we just started to get to know each other and i pulled up my sketchbook and i was drawing over here and she was like oh my god you're you're you you're one of the evangelion people and i'm like yeah i fucking know i know i am i'm sorry it's just what's happening my friend simon got me into it you can blame him um 
But this was like some color studies. I have these really cheap uh, Pentel uh, markers that are totally like for like 12 year olds, but I was like, screw it, you know, I'm gonna do some color studies. I really like this one. That one's my favorite. Um, and I kind of messed up Ray's face here, but we're gonna ignore that. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll redraw the pan that scene from End of Evangelion and just to redeem myself. Here's some more fountain pen stuff. This is also one of my favorite pages. This is probably one of my favorite spreads, even though her face is kind of wonky, but I was drawing with my fountain pen and I was listening to Mitski <laughs> and I was feeling overwhelmed and stuff. So I was just like, okay, we're gonna draw with some fountain pen and I drew some dogs and a baby. There's a lot of babies in this sketchbook. So be warned, there's, I don't know. I have a thing with weird babies, especially you would know that if you've seen my TikTok. Some figure stuff. I think I pulled this out of my ass, like no reference, but I just was having fun with it. Um, some character stuff. I don't know how well you can see it, um, but I had fun drawing these. This is like my OC Maggie, and I love her. I love all these guys. These are fun. <laughs> totally like, oh my god. So I was kind of drawing this bathrobe because I live over a bar called the Big Lebowski, which is a Big Lebowski themed bar. Um, uh, and it's like, so, so weird, but I was like thinking about the bathrobe because I know the dude Lebowski is in a bathrobe for a big chunk of the movie. So I was like, screw it, we're drawing somebody in a bathrobe. Is that revealing too much on my location? Whatever, nobody's gonna watch this. Uh, here we have more of my OC Maggie. She's horrible, but I love her. She's like one of my first OCs and I would marry her if she was real. Um, some more character doodles. Uh, some notes from a lecture, a dog with way too many feet. I want to animate a little guy like this walking. I think that'd be fun. A Furby. I need to draw more Furbies in my sketchbook. That's my New Year's resolution. Draw more Furbies. Okay, this is another one of my favorite spreads. I say that, I'm like saying that every couple pages, but like I have a couple spreads that are my favorite. Later on, there's not as many of my favorites, mostly because they're new. There's like a rain study, some Pentel doodles. I don't know, I like this page. I love this figure a lot. She's super cute with her little pouch. And some more babies, a baby and a bassinet. I like drawing this bassinet, it was fun. And a dog. Okay, this page, I love this page. This page is like so good. Um, it's just some figure drawings. I colored the page all in with Tombow and then went over it with ink and filled the areas where I didn't draw with black. I know it's probably not the most efficient way to do it, but that's how I did it. Here's some colored pencil glass studies. I think they turned out pretty nice. I like this one the most, I think. And this one, this one, she's cute. We were drawing glass in my 8 a.m. drawing class, so I was like, screw it. I'm gonna do some in my sketchbook. Here's a Pinterest study. I've been doing a lot of building Pinterest studies because I'm trying to get better at drawing buildings. Um, just some conceptual stuff. I try a lot of people smoking, even though I don't smoke, so. Um, some, this is, oh my God, a dying Micron brush pen that I insisted I w should draw with, and it turned out really grody, but what you're gonna do, and we got an Ina quote, cause I got super into Ina again, and I'm probably gonna, after I finish filming this, I'm probably gonna go watch it and keep drawing uh, Vanny from Security Breach. <laughs> Uh, here's, speaking of the devil, here's Ina. I love her. She's super cute. It's, I love that. I love that show. It's so good. And I'm really excited for the game to come out. I'm going to download it on my PC and I'm going to play it and I'm going to have a great time. Some color figure studies. Not, I say figure studies, but they're just me pulling stuff out of my brain. Like, I know I should get references, but I'm not exactly going to look up, like, nude models in the middle of my, like, uh, 12 p.m. Uh, ancient history class, so I don't know. I like these guys. This is another favorite page of mine. I love her sneakers. This just character is my favorite. Her I can, uh, but I love this one. Okay, I could rant about cave paintings for hours, but I drew this in class because I was thinking about cave paintings and I was like, I'm gonna draw some cave paintings. So I took my, I have a watercolor pencil and I just dipped it in my water bottle during class because I didn't have any water for watercoloring and then I drew in there. So I probably ingested a bunch of watercolor pencil, but we're gonna, it's fine, I'll be fine. 
uh, some conceptual stuff with ballpoint pen. We had some lady come preach to us about NFTs, which I really hated. Um, so I drew that, I think. I think that's what that was. Uh, we got a werewolf lady. Or, I think that's a werewolf lady. I don't think that's a cat girl. If it's a cat girl, if I don't know, man. A little scruffy guy. I want a coat like this. I draw a lot of stuff that I just want to wear. Or not a lot of it, but I do draw a good chunk of stuff I want to wear. Like, that's why you see a bunch of women in suits, because I really want a suit. Another classmate of mine, his name is Albany. He's very fun. And some more colored pencil stuff, some skeletons. I got really into drawing skeletons for a minute there. There's not much in this sketchbook, but in a concept book I have, which is like full concept art, I have skeletons. Some colored pencil angels, some figure stuff. I, I don't know, I like pink. I like pink a lot. Another Pinterest study. Okay, every time I film this, I look at this section in my notes and I'm like, what kind of drugs was I on, you know? Um, I think I was probably going through med withdrawals, which is why I was drawing a bunch of weird stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, definitely, because here, I think, Maybe not mad with those, but I was just going through some shit, you know? Um, some grid patterns, I thought these were fun. Some dogs. I like these guys a lot. I like how round their faces are. I like how round his face is. Some Tom Bow and ballpoint pen stuff. I don't know. I like this guy's legs. They're good. Colored pencil stuff. I touched these up recently because they just totally died. Um, because colored pencil does have the tendency to kind of wear away once I'm flipping through the pages and drawing all over my sketchbook. So I read, I touch them up a little bit. Some fountain pen and colored pencil. Um, I like this guy, he's holding himself up on his hands. I love fountain pens. My favorite color of ink is like this royal blue ink. It's my favorite color. Some more character stuff, not my favorite page, but I like this way this dress turned out. Um, some more of these like weird cell things I was drawing. I was trying to render some metal with like my tom bows and then organic shapes in perspective. I was trying to do these loopy guys in perspective, totally like based on some weird public art you'd see, like the bean. <laughs> some angels. Here's another skeleton. This is also with my dying micron brush pen. Some scribbles, a baby. I, the, that's what I like the most on this page is this baby. Um, more organic shapes and perspective. Some of these are better than others, but yeah. So here, I think this started initially as a mistake and then I went over it with Tombow and white correction ink and I was like, actually, I kind of like this. So this is like one of my favorite pages, honestly. I like how this guy's teeth turned out. I was like basing this off the children's skulls with like way too many teeth. And so I was like, gotta, gotta, gotta give them, gotta give them teeth. So yeah. Some pose practices. I was working on like doing more stiff and rigid poses. Um, I like this one. That one's my favorite on this page. Okay, God knows I have a love-hate relationship with graphite. Like I like doing big pieces in graphite. Like I love doing figure studies and still lifes and all that in graphite. It's wonderful. But when it comes to my sketchbook, I don't like it for whatever reason. It just gets everywhere and smudges and like as much as it is beautiful it just doesn't work for me okay and here's this page this page is a little rough i think i probably was going through med withdrawals on this page because i was talking about being sweaty down here because that's what happens sorry tmi but whatever um so yeah i like this guy i like him he's good very good i don't know it's a fun page though oh god more oil pastels, we got some angels. I drew some like of these guys in a big piece I did for an art show at my school. Um, and so I was, I got these like oil, really old dried out oil pastels from Scrap PDX and I used them in here. Um, I don't know, it turned out fine. I do like this drawing though. She's very cute. I like what I did, I like how I rendered her. And I like the green. I don't know. I had fun. I do love oil pastels a lot. More colored pencil stuff. And then here's when I broke up my Crayola crayons. I have an embarrassingly large amount of Crayola crayons, but you know, God knows I love them. Um, so I drew some figure stuff. I don't know. Not a big fan of the green crayons. I don't know why. I just guess I didn't get good colors when I picked them out. 
um, and then some dogs with some Mitski lyrics. So you know what? You know I was going through it when there's Mitski lyrics in the sketchbook. Oh my God, Lupin the Third! So I was talking about this earlier about Lupin the Third, but part six has just been coming out, and I really need to catch up on it. I'm super behind. But God knows I love this little monkey man. He's so good. I like this, this drawing. I had fun. So I was like, I'm gonna do him in colored pencil because I love the, the the burgundy shirt with the green jacket. Probably my favorite color combo for Lupin. Honestly, it is. Um, I, I mean, the part three, the pink, the pink jacket, the pink jacket, pink jacket. Yeah. Gotta love a man in a pink, pink suit jacket. Some more ballpoint pen color stuff. I like her, she's hot, she's cute. And then nurse, I don't know. More Tombow character stuff, surprise! I don't know. Um, and then here's some big, big little, big fetus baby guys that I drew on the bus to Salem. I went with my roommate and we went out um, apple picking because uh, our school was like, we're gonna send you guys out to Salem to do some apple picking. And we were all like, okay, let's get some apples. Um, so I drew these on the bus, because it was a school bus and I had nothing better to do. I like how they've turned out though. I love, I love ballpoint pen. It's so much fun to draw with. Some more bus doodles. These ones aren't as great, but they were fun to do. Um, mama and the baby. This, ignore this, ignore this, it's bad. Um, then we got some, I got my hands on some Sumi ink in my drawing class and oh my God, I love ink. I love drawing with ink, I love painting with ink. It's so fun. So I had some extra ink and some spare time in between drawing exercises that we were doing. So I took out my sketchbook and I drew a couple pages in here. Or I drew this page in here. Some more fountain pen doodles, two-headed baby. I like babies with lots of head and we got <laughs> heads. Heads, I mean heads, not baby with lots of head grammar. And then we got some guys dancing on the ring. I imagine they're dancing around the maple. We got some more babies. I love these little guys, they're so cute. Some more babies, baby in the jar. He's not having a good time in his jar. More Tombow stuff. This was like based on like, a th I think it was based on a picture of Bjork I saw on Pinterest. Um, Bjork's great, but I saw this photo of her and she's just like crouching like this in a black suit and screaming. And I was like, let's draw that. Um, yeah. Some more character stuff, pushing that pose. I'm pushing poses. More and more, I'm trying. Um, I did this drawing of Chris from Delta Rune, and I was like, okay, we're gonna push it. Um, so that's what I've been doing, is trying to push these figures more. Some more of that stuff, trying to work on character shapes. I don't know, that one didn't turn out great, but I don't know. Some concept stuff, finally. This is when I decided, hey, maybe I should draw some concept art you know, like ever. Um, so we got these ladies in a lab and we got a bathtub and a girl sitting in a chair. This is actually the inspiration for a big digital piece I did. Okay, here, I'm turning this sideways. This is like with some carne de gash, um, water soluble crayons. I drew a dog with a lot of feet. I love how it turned out. I like the color combo, the orange and the blue, green, or not the green, blue. It's like a teal turquoise color. Teal, I don't know. The answer in the comments. Vote in the comments on what color it is. We got some dogs. Um, I don't know. I love drawing these guys. They're tons of fun to draw. I was gonna do a short film based on like a uh, kind of like a pet, like a Nintendo dogs kind of thing with these guys, but I never got around to it because it was just gonna be way too technically difficult. So maybe. I don't know if RPG worker could maker could handle it, but maybe someday I will make a video game with these dogs. I got some uh, paper mate like brush tip pens, and they're like awful and they smear everywhere. But this is the one page I did with them, and I draw the drew these babies. I don't know, and some crying faces. You know, I love drawing these kind of crying faces. I do it all the time, um, or not all the time, but I do it enough. But I do like it. Uh, some concept stuff. This page didn't work out, so I kind of like covered up a bunch of stuff with black pen and then drew these characters. I don't know. This one's out of proportion. Proportion's kind of whack, but whatever. We have another dog page. This is a, yeah, page with all black that I went over with a whiteout correction pen. And drew the dogs. Doggy doggies. 
And then finally we have the good shit. Okay, so I've been working on this story idea for, it's like Frankenstein, but with lesbians and a little less like, a little, I don't know. I love Frankenstein, but like, I, I want to make it my own. So yeah, we have tall Frankenstein lady and a short little, her short little scientist girlfriend who's there to like help her and like, you know, you know, be okay, you know? Yeah, here's me talking about how I need better lining pens. Um, and then here's a little drawing of me, because I have my, like, big spiky choker. I want some big spiky armbands and, like, a nice big spiky choker. I just haven't gotten around to buying one. Um, we got this lady, I don't know, this, maybe this, maybe my dream, maybe me and my dreams. Um, I'm gonna get my hair cut like this someday. Uh, some more concept stuff. I like her braid. This is, I don't know. Robots. So there's a YouTuber on here. Um, his name is like Chromomoma. I think I'll put his name up on the screen, I think. Um, but he does robots all the time. So I was watching a bunch of his videos and I was like, screw it. We're going to try drawing robots. And like, it's totally not my style. But, you know, I had a fun, ton of fun doing it. You know, totally pushed myself uh, to do, you know, something I don't normally do. We got a robot dog. God knows I love the Boston Dynamics dogs, but like, don't make them military dogs. I just want to have one of these guys as a pet. Like, I want my eye dog back, you know? The little dog where you'd plug your iPod in and it would have the, like, it would have, like, a beat sequencer kind of thing. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? The little eye dogs. I love them. And I don't want Boston Dynamics to give these dogs to the military. I just want a robot dog in my house. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> more robots so this is when i found out the ink in my calligraphy pen was water soluble did not realize that until i started uh until i splashed some water on my page and i was like "Ooh, i can use this for shading so i have this big chunky beefy robot guy i feel like i love the big big robots that are like sweethearts they're always so good and we have this little lanky guy with little like these little claw feet that I thought were fun, that were like kind of like hooves. Some more drawings. We got this lady with a mechanical arm. I swear this was before I saw this. Uh, not to be like, oh, it's a mechanical arm, but this is before I saw Arcane. Um, so this is not like any inspired by Savika at all. Um, I think this is before I saw Arcane. Yeah, because I saw Arcane this month or December. Um, I don't know. Um, I do love Savika though. She's so good. Um, so this is like, not stuff I normally do, but I was like, let's do some like kind of text-based stuff. Also, I think I was going through withdrawals here. Um, we kind of got like some Phoebe Bridgers lyrics. I don't listen to Phoebe Bridgers that much, but God knows I've listened to uh, I Know The End like way too many times. And then, was I going through withdrawals? Yeah, I think. Um, and yeah, we got some stuff about being in pain because being in pain isn't fun, you know? Um, and I think I drew this when I was listening to a podcast about, like, the, the solutions for marking radioactivity areas. So this is kind of what that's kind of based on, those, like, spike fields. Ooh, we got some more ink drawings. This is kind of, like, I was, like, not feeling good at all. So I was, like, drawing, mapping where my pain was. Um, and then drawing with some ink. I like how these drips turned out. I love, I have this big bottle of India ink, and it's so fun to draw with. And then like some Rorschach test kind of thing. It's not that great, but it was kind of like my first time ever drawing anything in the style of a Rorschach test. So I wanted to think like, hey, it's a skull or it's a beetle. Maybe I can do, I'll, I might do, try and do more better ones later. Some more fountain pen doodles. My brain, I was spiraling and I was going through withdrawals. I was not having a good time. So this is what I was drawing. Got a little doodles. I don't know, not one of my favorite pages, but it's what's happening. I do like how these hands turned out though. Like I had fun drawing hands this way and I might try and do it more in my next sketchbook. Some loops. I don't have a lot of noops, loops 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 in the sketchbook, but God knows I draw these loops literally all the time. I have some I have this test notebook for gouache. I was trying to practice gouache and that's I drew a bunch of these loops in there. I love loops. Loops are so good. Then we have one of these guys and some um Sumi ink. I think this is uh, stuff I drew when we were working with Sumi Sumi ink in one of my drawing class in my draw in my drawing class, and I had some spare time, so I did this in my notebook. 
some more character stuff. Um, I like this guy, a little, little fisherman, a little lady in a suit, kind of based on me. I like her, she's cute. I like her sweater. You just gotta love a little long sleeve sweater kind of deal. Okay, this is a worse version of the page from earlier in my sketchbook, but it's what's happening. I do like this guy though. I like his weird shape. I think that's fun. Tons of fun. Some more character concept stuff and plus some like figure drawing pose kind of stuff. I don't know. I had just finished reading the graphic novel PTSD uh, by, I don't remember the name of the author right now. But so this was kind of based off of some of those characters, you know, just trying to push myself to do some more different character designs. Okay, we are back to the Frankenstein stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna go too deep into the story, but it's basically like the scientist comes in and she's like trying to help the Frankenstein lady. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but they're lovers and they're great. And this is like her kind of like final design as of now. And this is the Frankenstein's lady design. The Frankenstein lady's design's been kind of consistent, but working with the scientist design has been kind of fun. And I'm like always a little scared she's gonna look too much like Alfie's, which is not the plan, but I do want it to, I did want to give her like glasses and all this stuff, you know. She does not have the John Egbert glasses though. She has like the half moon glasses. <laughs> and I like it, I like them. They're lovers, they're cute, and they're having a great time. And it's gonna be happy. It's not gonna be a sad lesbian story. Oh my god, this is, okay, so between here and here is probably like, is when my finals were happening. Because, I at least I think. Because I was, I think between these two pages, I was literally animating for four weeks. I made this three minute long animated music video, and it took four weeks, and literally all I did was sit on my iPad and animate and procreate, and it was so draining my spine sounded like a glow stick like that's how bad my back was from doing all that like don't don't try and crunch three minutes of animation in four weeks it's literal hell um or don't do it if you're gonna try and be as a perfectionist as i am um but yeah so this i think was like my first step back in to like actually drawing and having time to draw for myself um, this is like a little, I got my dip pen, and so that's what these little guys are. Um, I love my dip, ten, dip pen, favorite thing. Some clowns, because I did, for my drawing final, I did a drawing of a clown. Um, and so I was doing the little clown doodles. Some more babies, they look a little phallic, but we're gonna ignore that. Um, but I love these guys. I love my little babies. There's a lot more babies in the later half of the sketch. Or it's like we're already at the end half, but by the very end, there's a lot of babies. Um, so yeah, we got little babies, little babies and little wraps. These, I love these drawings. So I was sitting in class and I was like, I want to do like a kind of cyberpunk, kind of gamer girl wired up kind of drawing. So that's what this is. And it's like my Pentel pen in Tom Bass. And I had a ton of fun with it. And I love how it turned out. Um, I might have to like do illustrations of these at some point because it was tons of fun. More colored pencil stuff. Cause I was like trying to just get back in the zone of drawing some more kind of wired up things, you know, cause I love, you know, I totally love the cyberpunk style. That's like ghost in the shell. Watch this movie, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like an early 2000s 3D animated movie. And it's kind of like that cyberpunk, like, uh, Blade Runner kind of era. Uh, I love that stuff and I need to find more of it to watch. Um, we got some pottery. I was drawing like some fake mock-up pottery with like some weird birds and like a horse and a cat and just some character stuff. More Pinterest studies. God bless Pinterest, you know. Gotta love it. Live, laugh, love. I will all hail. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. God praise Pinterest. Um, so this is like a deli store that I found. And then we have this house that was in a field that I thought was looking very ominous and very cool. So I decided to draw it. I like how this one turned out more than that one. More character stuff. I don't know. It was just what was happening. Some notes for a short film idea because God knows I need to animate more. 
Um, but this is based off kind of like an artist idea. I have some more notes on this in my concept. Like I have a book full of concept art um, that I've been working on. But that this was just like initial doodles that I needed to get out of my head. Some computer stuff, some character stuff. Most of the, this is all fountain pen stuff. I don't know, I'm trying to get into drawing some old tech kind of style stuff more, but I'm working on it. Did I skip a page? No, I didn't. Um, more colored pencil stuff. This is all stuff I drew over Christmas break when I finally got home. Some character poses. This is all based on Pinterest stuff. Oil pastels. Gotta love some oil pastels. Some fountain pen stuff. I had just gotten a new Schaffer fountain pen that I, I found at a yard, I, I found in the yard sale. So I was like, I cleaned them and I loaded them up and I was drawing with them. Just practice. Some outfit studies for characters and stuff. I don't know. I don't have much to say regarding this later half of the sketchbook. I'm just not invested in a good chunk of it. But this I am invested in, okay? Speak of the devil. This is concept stuff for an RPG maker game I'm thinking of making. I've always wanted to make a video game, but I've never gotten around to it because I've never had the tech or the setup to do it. So I was like, screw it, we're gonna start doing some concept stuff. So here we have like um, some battle screen stuff and some like sprite ideas and some notes. Um, I don't know, just coming up with stuff. And here we have like some weapon concepts and character design ideas and some babies. These are like some enemy ideas. And then we have a boss idea. Okay, so this is kind of disturbing, but if you've ever seen a rat king, you know, it's like a rat that's all tied together by its tails. Um, I was thinking of like a rat king, but with like fetuses like I know it's weird but like I feel like that'd be a really creepy and cool boss to have in a video game so I might draw this up and then put it in After Effects and try and do some like puppet animation with it and make it kind of like some concept movement stuff I feel like that'd be fun more oil pastels some fetuses I don't know I like these guys I was drawing I was working on a commission that I did in oil pastels so I took a break to draw some of these guys in my sketchbook I don't know. I love this orange though. I love how this turned out. It's so cute. I love the babies. Okay, so here we have like perspective, a little thing. I gotta work on my perspective and foreshortening of figures, so I've been trying that. More Pinterest stuff. Um, just trying to get nail down silhouettes. Um, I don't know. Not much to say. Just faces. And then we have some bodies. Some guys. This is based off the photography of an Somebody on Instagram, their name is Shunglet, and they do this amazing plus size photography. Um, and they're so good. And I use their uh, photos as reference all the time because they have just such good poses and such, they're just amazing. And they're great references to draw from. So I end up using them all the time in my sketchbook as reference. Then here are my final pages. Um, we got a little tumor baby. I like to jokingly refer to myself as a tumor baby because I had I was born with a C-section, so I was like removed. So I jokingly call myself a tumor baby. I think I weirded out my boyfriend by referring to myself as a tumor baby. <laughs> um, and then we have some colored pencil character poses and a little fetus. I don't know. It's just fun. And then we have this guy. I don't know. I kind of ran out of steam at the very end of the sketchbook and I was like, screw it, we're just going to draw something here. So I drew this little scruffy guy with a, like a little, little scruffy bob. I thought he was cute. But yeah, I don't know. And that's it. That's the end of this sketchbook. Um, I drew my little cat here and this is just like a pen test page um, that I use. Always at the back of my sketchbooks I have a pen test page just to see colors and how they hold up on paper. But yeah. So that's it, and this page is kind of gross because this is the protector of the Pentis page. Don't have anything back here. And that's it! Yeah! I don't know, overall, I really had fun with this sketchbook. Um, I, I don't know, but I am ready to move on to my next sketchbook and start work on that. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you've stuck with me throughout this really a trial a trial and error first sketchbook tour but i hope you liked it um 
thank you all so much for watching have a wonderful new year this should maybe hopefully be coming out close to the new year because i'm filming this on new year's day so yeah have a happy new year and i'll see you guys around all right goodbye yay